Oh, hi, it's Archie. Thanks for clicking on the button. You're watching Three Minute Flicks. From its source high in the Rocky Mountains, the Colorado River has channeled water nearly 1,500 miles over great falls, vast deserts, and massive canyons. The enormous river is the fifth largest in the entire United States and stakes claim across seven U.S. and two Mexican states. The river had been an uninterrupted source of water for six million years until just recently. Let's rewind back a bit to where it first began. In the early 1920s, western states began divvying up the water from the Colorado River, building massive dams and diverting the flow to many major cities including Los Angeles, Las Vegas, Phoenix, and many more. The Colorado River's influence doesn't end in the city streets, however, as nearly 3.5 million acres of farmland rely on the river too. That's a whole lot of thirsty cows. All in all, the Colorado River acts as a vital water source for 40 million people. To put that in perspective, just over 12% of the entire U.S. population depends on this water for survival. And like a piece of toast with not nearly enough butter, we may be reaching the point of spreading the Colorado River far too thin. Growing water consumption has caused the final hundred miles of the river to dry up, meaning the river has rarely even reached the sea within the last 60 years. In the Lake Mead, the water level has fallen over a hundred feet since 2000. Alongside the lakes and basins carved by the river, lines can be seen marked in the rocky walls that signal the river's previous heights, and it's not looking great. So why is this happening now? As the cities that rely on the water continue to grow, their draw from the river becomes too great to be sustainable. The population in the southwest is projected to double by 2060, requiring much more water than the Colorado River could offer. The other factor would be global climate change. Scientists predict that the West will grow as much as 10 degrees warmer if global emissions are not reduced, drastically speeding up the evaporation of the river. Those who live within reach of the Colorado River can play their part by simply reducing their home's water usage, shortening showers, only running the washer when it's full, and composting instead of using the garbage disposal. If we make the small lifestyle changes to help reduce stress on the water supply, there may be hope for the future of the Colorado River yet. Thanks for watching my flick. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm working on my next video now.